Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Dojo, where we assist people with getting into development and empowering them with technologies which enables them to do their job efficiently and productively. Today on Code Dojo, we'll be taking you through the steps of setting up your own virtual environment for developing against D365, which is a Microsoft platform we have 12 cool features or extensions or tools that you can use which you will be able to set up in your own vs code so that it enables you to do your work properly the, the first tool on the list is power platform extension pack which comes packed and bundled with other extensions that enable you to communicate with the dataverse or the power platform environment or even the pcf builder which enables you to extend on what you can do with the power platform or your d365 environment moving on to number two number two on our list is power app helper which enables you to see your solution straight from VS Code. And doing that, it enables you to extract them and even go deeper so that you do not have to go through Explorer or anything like that, extracting the files so you can see what is contained within the solution. It enables you to see all the solutions within the environment straight from VS Code. Getting to my favorite ones on the list, Git. When we talk about Git, the first thing that comes to mind is code repository. You moving from Git extensions or, for, or whatever Git client that you might be using. But you don't have to do all of that because you have the power of Git built in by default. Of getting to our third one on the list, which is actually called Git Lens. Git Lens is an extension for enabling you to work supercharged and super fast and productive with your git and vs code on vs code you will be able to use a git client which is fully featured and empowered by git kraken what does that actually mean it means that you have all the powers of git enabled within your vs code editor which leads me to the next one the next one is actually called git graph git graph opens you up to graphing your commits that you make within your repository so within vs code what actually happens when you open the git graph tab it shows you all the git commits and you can actually check out specific commits or even go back to what actually you were working on which was working before or now it's no longer working in that specific git commit that you're currently on so now going into azure functions and other c sharp related extensions that you might be building for your uh, environment is actually something called vs code solution explorer vs code solution explorer enables you to open solutions that were built in a full-fledged ide like your visual studio or radar other than opening these solutions it comes with a ton of features which you can explore and use but for me i saw that it is very much important to open it in the way that it is opened in the full-fledged visual studio Prettier is a formatter for your code, more especially when you're working with C-sharp, CSS, HTML, TypeScript, and JavaScript. It formats your code so that you don't have to manually indent your code or format it manually, but automatically you can set it up in settings to automatically format your code when you save or when you make changes. And I actually prefer to set it to on save so that it doesn't interfere much while I'm writing my code. It's actually called Auto Importer. What does Auto Importer do? Auto Importer it is an extension that enables you to actually import files or modules which you are using in your current file that you're working on or actually even forgot to actually import you can just right click on the line where it's complaining about and click on import all or import a specific file that you want so that you get rid of all the errors that you have within your file that you forgot to import a specific module for when you're writing code against your power platform or d365 you will notice that intellisense doesn't come out of the box you need to write certain libraries yourself or do something special which leads us to dynamics 365 ce javascript snippets 
what that does it actually adds intelligence for us all snippets for us to actually write code faster so that you don't actually need to type in everything from scratch yourself you can just type in xrm dot and then it gives you a list of possible properties for xrm that comes with that response you got and moving on while talking about apis my favorite one on the list now with regards to api is rapid api client what that does it actually brings the power of postman although it is not developed by the same team as you know postman is a google product so you can install it within your vs code and it enables you to have that power that you've been doing within postman to call apis or create collection or collaborate with others and it has got tons and tons of API functionality that you can use within VS Code without leaving VS Code, which will enable you to be much more productive because you will not have to move within applications or move out of the application. And the last one, which is a bonus one, is not really an extension. It is called XRM Toolbox. What XRM Toolbox does is extremely extraordinary. What that means is that it enables you to install plugins within the XRM Toolbox. And these plugins are the ones that gives you power to perform certain tasks. Let's take, for instance, you wanted to bulk import data. You would normally write an application, a console app or something like that, or even use out-of-the-box Dynamics uh, import tool, which is actually limited. But with this one, you can actually push in your fetch XML into it or build queries around it using a certain plugin, which takes data from one environment to another or move environments with the plugins that are available for this tool and they can be able to create or develop your own plugins if some certain functionality is not there in the tool so this is a must-have tool to succeed in your development career in power platform and that's it for today stay tuned for more videos subscribe like and rewatch.